Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed. And uh, today's video, we'll see how we can connect our own uh, Elasticsearch with uh, also our own local LLM. And if you uh, or for sure, we all agree that uh, a public uh, models like OpenAI are widely accessible and offer uh, impressive capabilities. But there are some key reasons why we connecting Elastic to uh, a local LLM can be more advantageous. And the first one and the uh, obvious reason is the data privacy and security. When using uh, public models like um, OpenAI or uh, Gemini from Google or any other public models, there is uh, some uh, sensitive uh, data is uh, often uh, transmitted over the internet, uh, raising a potential uh, privacy and security concern. With a local uh, LLM, all uh, the data stays within uh, our own uh, infrastructure, providing uh, greater control and ensuring also uh, the compliance with uh, regulations like GDPR or, A or HIPAA or any other uh, regulation or compliance. Uh, the other reason or the second one is uh, the customization. When you, when you interact with uh, uh, with a public uh, uh, LLM like OpenAI, you cannot uh, customize the model, right? So um, this is also one of the other limitations. Uh, when you use your local LLM, you can uh, customize it uh, as you like. And the last one uh, that I want to also to highlight is the is the cost. So depending on the or depending on the uh, scales uh, of uh, or the scale of use a public API, like if you use a large or if you send a too many uh, APIs requests per second or per minute or per day, it comes with uh, with a cost, right? Uh, if we go, for example, to the uh, to the pricing, or if you visit uh, the pricing from OpenAI, you will see how many uh, or how it will char charge, like by thousand query or ten thousand, they will give you uh, the cost with uh, with uh, a local LLM. Uh, we can uh, we can limitate or we can control the uh, the costs of the uh, uh, of the solution. With that being said, let's jump to our environment. Uh, so in our deployment, what I have, uh, we have our uh, model and we use in LM Studio. And also I I'm using Elasticsearch locally. I'm not using a cloud and I'm not using Elastic or uh, Nginx here. So my environment, I have local Elasticsearch, LM Studio and uh, one, of the, uh, uh, one of the models we we're going to see in a second. Um, so the first step is download uh, the LM Studio. So this is the uh, the link. So you go uh, here to the link and you choose the right uh, package based on your uh, OS. Me, um, I'm using uh, um, uh, Mac M1. So this is the uh, the right package. And as you can see here from uh, from uh, Elastic uh, from Elastic, they said. Uh, we download the LM and then we uh, search for uh, uh, LLM. So here uh, they give us this example that they use in the um, in this lab. So if we copy, so let's go to uh, to the to the uh, LM Studio. So this is uh, LM Studio. This is the first overview. What we have here uh, for your environment, since it's empty, you will not be able to have any chats. You don't have any model. Uh, the first thing uh, you have to do is uh, start from discover and here you copy paste the model and you search and here it will show you uh, the model as you can see here some uh, informations about uh, the uh, the model itself and if you want to access to more details about this model then you can uh, you can open one second i will just copy paste uh, the uh, the link so if you want to learn about the model uh, here it's just uh, you have to make sure that you are using a hugging face uh, for a security reason like you you need to make sure that you are using legitimate uh, model right and another uh, another point or another point that i want to highlight here you see this is let's say um, it said likely too large for this machine me i have a 16 gigabyte ram uh, uh, um, a macbook uh, pro m1 so this is too large, like if I cannot run it on my machine, then uh, if we go back to the documentation here, and they said, even if we don't choose this exact model, then we have to choose another model that uh, include uh, Instruct. So if we uh, come here to the, to the model here, for example, 
and we search here we have a few models that uh, that uh, we can use and as you can see here now it's green full gpu offload possible mean we can run it this model uh, on our uh, uh, on our machine if you want to um, learn or you see it's coming from uh, hugging uh, face hub then this is like let's say a legitimate you can use it uh, here's some uh, informations right uh, for me if I go here, I'm using this model. So it's uh, Llama from Meta. So if you search here, and let's go back to Discover, and here, here we go. I'm using uh, I'm using this uh, this model. So you uh, download it. I already did to not take too long uh, in the video. So I I already download the uh, uh, the package and it's it's in my machine. Now, when you open, if you if you have the same uh, uh, version that I have now with the LM, then you can uh, quickly start or you can start the server. The server will be running on this port one, two, three by or four by default. If you want to, um, if you want to use another another uh, uh, another port, then you can modify it easily from here. To check or to see if the uh, if the service or uh, if the model is up and running you can copy paste it from here or i will go with the curl so i will come here to the command line and run the curl mm -hmm. and here we go if we go back to our studio you can see that we get a request from here i have another one so this one will send uh, this one or this test will send uh, uh, a message like uh, to uh, this model and ask to uh, uh, introduce yourself. So here the model will introduce uh, himself. So this uh, some tokens are coming, and if we go to the model, we see uh, we see the output here, right? So this is uh, this is the output. I mean, uh, this is the answer of the question, and also it's mean like our uh, service or our uh, model is up and uh, and running another way to test is from the chat like here you can type a message and here it will uh, answer your question immediately right now let's move to uh, now everything is up and running from the lm uh, and let's go now to the uh, elastic search and see what we uh, what we can do uh, from uh, elastic search so we go here um what is kibana yes this one so the first thing uh, you know it's not uh, it's not a free it's uh, uh, like to be able to test it you have to enable the trail license so it's here uh, i already did it as you can see i'm on a, a trail license <coughs> so here you enable the trial license and now let's go and create a connector um i have my connector here so if if i open it so here you put uh, the connector the connector name if i go if you want to look for the connector name uh, you can come here and here you find the uh, the connector model and you copy paste just this part this is the uh, the name of the uh, of the connector right you choose uh, open ei as a, as a type this is the url that you will use since it is locally you remember we run a server on this port and locally this not this one this one so we're running uh, the uh, server here and finally the uh, api key so uh, me like uh, i was confused I also the here the the default model so if i go if i go yeah this is the uh, the the default model we are using right is here you copy from here till to here this is the default model that we are using the api key there is no api keys here so here you can just put whatever like tests uh, whatever the word like you put it here it's uh, it will it will or uh, uh, elasticsearch will use it right now let's run a test i run here a test and the test was successful right now let's see how we can use it if we go to uh, our here we go I will go to security for example and open the ei assistant and here i choose the model i have uh, this one api and i have this one so here if i ask any question um how to see 
gate ransom where attack for example so here it will give you the steps to uh, uh, answer this question and you see here uh, the interaction with our model here in real in real time you see the uh, you see the uh, the logs are coming so uh, and here if we if we come we can see how we uh, do or how we can for example here is give us the steps to, uh, how we use uh, ESQL to uh, um, first like to ident uh, identify the affected assets and after that we do uh, analyze network and so on and so forth like all the steps that will help us to remediate the ransomware attack all right and this is uh, how we uh, deploy uh, our uh, own local LLM locally it will uh, cost you uh, zero like you can run everything I'm running Elasticsearch here as you can see locally everything is uh, is local um, with that being said we arrive to the end of the video let me know in the comment section if you have any question or if you face any issue with that being said I will see you in the next one